G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. System setup time, and finally I'm getting around to showing you how to set up Open Media Vault NAS. I know I've been harping on about it for a few days, but I finally got it finally got the time to do it. So I'm going to show you the steps to go through and then how to configure the system. So let's do the hardware first. We're gonna for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm sorry, we're gonna set it up on this Dell. T110 number two server I got from my friend's computer business. A quad core 3.3 gig Xeon CPU and eight gig of RAM. Plenty of guts in it to do a um, NAS file server. Unfortunately, Open Media Vote does not like the embedded RAID controller on this, so it will be doing an AHCI, but we'll create a RAID within Open Media Vault. So I'm gonna set it up on that, and then I'm gonna show you how to access it from here, and you can do your um, configuration and then set up users and everything. So let's go and do install straight away. It is a Debian based kernel, so it's pretty easy to set up. And this server's got enough guts in it. It's connected, unfortunately, to our 100 megabit switch, which is perfectly all right considering my internet's only 25 megabit. But when it goes into production mode, it would obviously I would put it on a gigabit switch. Anyhow, all right, as always with anything Linux or Windows, make sure you get your locale right. Now, I would hazard a guess and I would assume because of my firewall settings, this thing is not going to get NTP, but I'd advise you to make sure you've got at least the BIOS clock set correctly. Now, in some cases, if your uh, NAS system doesn't like your RAID controller, and this is another option for you to consider, and you've got four drives in here, you can have four different storage areas if you wish. So I've got four 500 gig drives in that. And if necessary, I can have four different areas. All right, so we'll just call it that, that, make it easy. All right, let me do uh, password for root and everything, and we'll come back. I would hazard a guess and say because of my firewall settings and security settings here, both from an open D BSD point of view as well as my uh, WAN gateway, that this may not get a network time server. So we'll just have to see what happens. got to give Dell credit this thing is set at performance level in the BIOS for proc and everything and it is super quiet very quiet all right I think we'll cancel that go with Victoria okay in this case, believe it or not, with, with any NAS system, you can actually set it up and still use some of these drives for storage. But what we're going to do is use these three drives in a RAID, okay? Or you've got the option of joining these all four drives as one RAID and allowing you to have um, shares. And we'll bung it on that just for the purposes of this demonstration. Very anaconda looking feel to the uh, system here. All right, once all this is uh, um, set up, we'll, uh, we'll come back. All right, so the installation is now complete. Disk is out. We now reboot. And the reboot is a pretty simple process. All right, once it's rebooted, we'll, uh, we'll come back. All right, so once the system's rebooted into your new NAS, you'll be greeted with this with Open Media Vault. Now, Mine says there's no internet, in, network interfaces available, but I've already done an IF config and I'm getting an IP address. The other thing is you'll notice here that the default username is admin and the login is Open Media Vault. Clearly you'd change that. I was going to show you the web interface on this little HP. Um, just as a side note, this is called a HP Notebook 10, uh, HP Pavilion 10 Notebook. I finally got the name for it, but that's what that is. Instead... Because this is too small, as you can see, I'm going to take a, go over to the main PC and show you the steps there. Oop. 
So when you bring up the IP that's been assigned to it, you'd obviously enter in the default details, which in this case is admin followed by open media vault. As I said, this is going to be a bit slow, and this is what you'd be greeted with. Now, as you can see here, there are no services. There's the system information. So the first thing you want to do is check your physical disks. Now you have options here. Now, what I would be inclined to do, and this is if it was somewhat possible, use a smaller drive for your operating system and then RAID them all. You could actually have separate drives for everything if you wish. So you could have, say, this one for your recorded TV programs, this one for music, and this one for files, or you can put them all together. Your decision. To actually RAID them, you simply create a RAID like that, and it'll show you what RAIDs are available. Or you can create individual file systems. Create a file system. You can select a drive, you can pick any of them as you see fit. And then you can obviously select whether you do ButterFS, uh, Journal, XFS, whatever. I would use <coughs> I would use ButterFS personally. That's up to you. And then you need to enable your services. So once you've set up your RAID management or individual disks, your obviously users and shared folders, then you've got to set up your services. Now, if you, you've got obviously down here FTP, NFS you'd obviously use for Unix, aka Mac. You've got your rsync, you've got your uh, SMB, CIFS, uh, SSH services if you want to get into it that way, all that type of stuff. Shared folders, this would be where you would organise which folders you're going to share on what device. Obviously the, the devices aren't correlated and then you'd set up the permissions. And once that's all done, you would have a NAS, and as I've said in the past, this is how it would show up. So with a NAS, Network Attached Storage, it would show up under your network locations, whereas a SAN shows up under local disks, right? So you've got Storage Area Network, which means it shows up as a local disk under your My Computer, and then Network Attached Storage, which obviously shows up under Network Locations. So if I was to set up a SMB share, which I'll do right now, we'll see it show up under that. So here we are. I've got the second hard drive, at just on 500 gig. I've labelled it SMB. I'm using the ButterFS file uh, format, file system. I really want to create it. Successfully created. It's online. We go down to shared folders. We add a share. We select the device. Oh, we're going to name the device first. Hang on. Yeah, hang on a minute. I've mucked this up. Bear with me. I've, done, I've missed a step. Right. I missed a step. I've actually got to mount the drive first, so make sure it's mounted. Then we go down to, we obviously have to click apply over there. We definitely want to apply it. So I've made one 500 gig drive. See there, it's used 384K. Then I go to shared folders. I add a share, I just call it SMB for purposes of the demonstration. We select this drive, which is the one we've just done. Path is SMB. Users, save that. We then go to the shared folders. You can see it there. Now what happens is if I go down to here, go to network, it should show up somewhere. It's not going to show up. I haven't ID'd it. Hang on. It'd be a good idea if I actually enabled it, wouldn't it? So we now refresh the network services and it should show up, although my network is running like a pig at the moment. So hang on a moment. Okay, so it's finally showed up. My network's running like a pig here at Backyard IT at the moment. So if we go into Open Media Vault, 
obviously we've got to put in our details. Now I haven't changed the password yet, so I've got to do that. Ah, hang on. Oi, vey. Okay, so my network's running like a pig, but I'm in. So, there it is there. And that's it. So now what you can do is once you've set all that up, so I've done my shares, done all my settings for Samba and everything. What I can do now, if I wish, is actually map that drive so that it ends up showing up under here and it would show up in your network locations more than anything else. So there we go. Open Media Vault, set up, sharing, instant NAS. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that's helped you out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.